Greetings, everybody. We're here uh, with the uh, weather effects of climate, uh, you, weather unit two, talking about target seven, the Coriolis effect. Um, what it is, why it seems to happen, and how it seems to work. And basically, it's, uh, it's amazing. It's due to the rotation of our Earth. Air and wind seems to turn two different directions. If you're north of the equator, it turns to the right, where we live. And if you're south of the equator in the southern hemisphere, it turns to the left. Let's check out a little video showing that as things spin, I'll just move the video in here, as things spin, as you see these crazy dudes are loving it, the ball travels in a straight line, but they're moving. Did you see that? Try to watch this again. As the ball will travel in a straight line, but it seems to turn because the guys are actually spinning up from under it. Well, this was uh, found out by this famous gentleman who we just called Gustav Coriolis and uh, due to the earth's rotation objects deflect to the right in the northern hemisphere and the left in the southern hemisphere so if you're taking high pressure normally high pressure would want to go in the um, light blue colored arrow straight away but they end up turning to the right so as air moves it doesn't move straight away it ends up spinning away and clockwise and as air moves into low pressure, as we learned before, it doesn't move straight. It turns to the right, so air tends to move counterclockwise and in. This is a pull-off of exactly what might happen due to pressure differences. Air is moving away from high pressure and kind of spirals in towards the low pressure counterclockwise. So once again, the goal was, can you describe the Coriolis effect, what it is, why it works, and how it works, Etc. We're also going to do an awesome in-class demo, but I can't put that in the video. Ta-ta for now.